Hey, business owners in Solano County, if you are looking to increase the local visibility or the online visibility of your business in 2020, then I have a video for you. Uh, my name is Leo and I have a company called Digital Track where we help businesses do that specifically, right? They come to us, they don't have a, uh, many customers to know, know, know them, so we help them increase the local uh, online visibility, on the local reach, uh, obviously to make their local market aware, be aware more of the business and attract those customers. Um, so if you, for example, have heard complaints of, business, of customers having a hard time to find your business, when they go to Google, they, don't, they cannot find your information. Um, some of the things that we're gonna cover today will address some of those, those issues. Um, by the way, what we're gonna go through today is basically uh, uh, some of the steps and processes that we use for our own clients so you can either take some of this information, apply it to your own business, or use all of the information if you want to apply it to your business. And I will appreciate it if you let me know how that works for you. So a lot of the businesses that I work with are, have a physical location or provide services in the local area. So if that's one, if that falls into your category, stay tuned because that that may very well be specifically for you or this this video right maybe it's very well specifically for you one of the very first thing i like doing is do a google search about the business see how their online visibility is right by doing a google search why google because obviously 90 percent of users they do search go on uh, online and, and and try to find things that's what they do exactly so if 90 percent of the market uses google to do search that's where i want to get started and uh, for example, I got a cold Mexican restaurant, one right? of my clients, they have great pupusas. She tried them out, Salvadorian dish. Uh, they have great menudo on the weekends. Um, so yeah, go ahead and check them out. But use them as an example, right? You can see that if I Google their name, I they dominate the whole first page on Google. That's what you want to do because obviously um, it's, hard to miss you, right? It's hard to miss your businesses. If you basically, your business is listed all over the first page, if people are actually um, uh, typing your business name. Another thing you wanna make sure is that your business have their own profile in Google. And these are important because you're having a profile, your profile in Google, this is where people can leave their views, uh, see information about your business right in front of it without having to go somewhere else, uh, have your contact information, you'll be able to see pictures, be able to uh, see in the map where you're located specifically if you have a physical location so having your own google profile is important and that's one of the very first thing i start with and how do i do that we'll simply do a search on google my business or how to uh, set up right google my business and you'll be able to find articles and, or videos on how to get set up uh, but if after if you go to um, the google.com forward slash business you'll be able to get started on Google My Business as well if you just follow the steps. But you wanna make sure you complete everything as much as possible, right? Uh, some of the things that I'm gonna show you here that you'll be able to, you wanna make sure you get completed. Again, just using the example from El Caracol. Um, you wanna make sure you complete, uh, you post things. This allows you to post things to provide, uh, let people know of events or updates about your business. Make sure to have your business uh, name, you make sure you select your category properly, about the services you provide, the address if you have one, um, the hours, business hours, the special hours, this, this uh, for example, uh, holiday seasons are coming up, so we have to make sure we get let people know why, what we're gonna be doing and how the business uh, is gonna be operating in the last two weeks of December, phone number, um, website if you have it, menu website, um, uh, name of the profile, uh, et cetera, right? You have amenities, highlights, et cetera, right? What your business is about. You wanna make sure you complete as much information as possible. All the directories are very important. You wanna make sure you do the same, right? You go through the directory uh, and complete as much information as possible. Very similar to what you do on Google, okay? So especially with the name, the phone number, address, and website if you have it make sure all those matches to what you have in google so if, if for example on the over here we put in the address 3081 alamo drive back in california if, if we go on facebook set up a business page we want to make sure we have it the same way the address if we go on yelp set up a, a 
profile in Yelp, we want to make sure the address stays the same. If you have those NAP, as you call it, right, plus the website, if you have those three things, name of the business, address, and phone number, same, uh, it just helps Google understand, okay, uh, all these local uh, online directories that have a great reputation have the same information about this business, so this must be the business, uh, the correct information about the business, and boom, shows it in front of the customers. Uh, the other profiles I already talked about a little bit is obviously make sure you have your information on Yelp. If you don't like Yelp, still set up a profile simply because anybody can go in there and create profiles. So you want to make sure that you, the business owner, are the one is the one that is setting up the profile so you can control that information. Um, all the stuff you want to do, just do a Google search and see what profiles. We can talk more about what other important profiles are available. Obviously, you want to have your Facebook business page. You want to have a, a LinkedIn is very important as well. To have a company page, yellow pages are very important as well. Not the physical printout, but yellow pages have their own online directory. Um, so yeah, set up your online profiles. Then the second thing that we want to do is make sure the website has correct information, it's up to date. If you don't have a website, create one, right? It's so cheap nowadays to have a website set up, uh, even if it's just for to provide information to clients. So having the website set up, once we have the website set up, we wanna make sure that we are tracking and monitoring the traffic that comes to the website. So that way we get to understand, okay, is the, how well our reputation is doing online, right? Are people coming to our website? That means obviously, um, there's a big presence. Um, if that visitors are falling down, that means something's happening, right? So we have we, we need to react. Um, plus, it allows you to get information on some of those customers, right? How long they stay on the website, what pages are visited the most. It gets to know a little bit about the audience, right? What are the age range? What are the demographic? Are they mostly women, mostly male? Um, some of the interests, right? All of those things. Um, it's if you set up the analytics on your website, you'll be able to find out. Um, so, okay, we talk about setting up a website, setting up the analytics, um, and obviously you just you continue to maintain the online presence of your business. You can do that through obviously posting on social media, um, provide updates about your business, educate the, your audience on things that you do, uh, educate the, your audience and the services that you provide. Uh, all, all those things can be done through social media, right? Uh, that's maintaining the reputation of your business and, and increasing it. The reputation, it helps you long-term. It doesn't necessarily mean it's just going to be the now thing of generating leads. Uh, you're not going so much for that, right? You're going more for a long-term relationship, a long-term reputation. And that's what you're trying to do with your business, right? If you just go here for a short term, um, I don't know, I'm not, I'm, I don't work with those. Um, so, maintain the reputation of your business. Other things you can do to maintain the reputation of your business is obviously answering, right? Monitor your social media profiles. If, if people are tagging you, see what they're saying, answer to them. Um, if people are leaving reviews, answer to them. Either if they're good or bad, answer to them, right? You wanna make sure that people see you being uh, interacting with uh, your customers. It's just like, imagine you go to a uh, it's just like any interaction offline. You want to do the same thing online, right? Imagine you go to a um, uh, business location and you say thank you and nobody gets back to you. Well, what's, that, what's the feeling that you have? That, that, that What's the feeling that that leaves you, right? Right. So same thing is online. If, you, if people are leaving reviews, just go in there and say thank you, right? Um, if people say bad things about you, um, still, right, get back in there and answer some questions or ask them to leave, if they just leave one word, bad review, they don't provide them much detail, ask them for details, right? Uh, provide your phone number, uh, even your email if, if they want to provide more information. So manage your reputation. Um, we started talking about, so let me continue with the maintaining your online presence, right? Some of the things you can do that is, again, posting through social media. Uh, but at the same time, we do advertising, right? We do advertising to maintain um, the audience, in, to, to, to maintain the business in front of, of, of our audience. Obviously, um, you can do the same thing by, by not paying advertising, but paying advertising just basically takes that away of 
business owner having to be there and on social media all the time, right? Advertising takes some of that away because obviously you just paid a platform to go ahead and show information about your business to the audience that is important to your business. Um, not only that, we look to grow channels of communications with our customers as well, right? Or with our customers' customers. So for that way, it would allow us to uh, send emails, send texts, send messages through our customers. It's very important because we stay in front of them. We let our best customers know what's going on, what's happening. So for example, this month for El Caracol, right? They have um, tamales. So we send messages um, that that was happening. We have special hours that were happening, right? For example, holiday, Christmas Day may be closed, New Year's Day may be, may be closed. So we send information to our clients to let them know what their holiday hours are gonna be. We just had a contest going, ha uh, had going on that um, uh, one lucky winner was gonna get a free meal for two. So we let them know, hey, this, this contest is going on. So participate if you want to win, right? Uh, so all that is important in reference to growing your channels of communications with your clients. And if you can um, have multiple channels of communication, right, so email, text, messages, and any others you can find out, even better, because that's a straight one-on-one -on -one communication with that client. That said, uh, those are some of the processes we'll put in place to help our clients. Now you can either use some of these or all of them. It's up to you, but I would appreciate it if you do implement some of this and help you out that you will let me know. Um, you can reach me at, if you go to my website, digitaltrack.co, uh, you can find my phone number. This is a cell, so you can call me or text me. Uh, if you go to the bottom, you can see my social media. If you go to contact us, um, you can, uh, you know, Find it, send us a message message as well through through the website. All right, so have a great one.